And then welcome to Andy's Beer Reviews, everybody. Let's uh, drink some beer, shall we? Let's drink this. This is the uh, Delirium Red. It's uh, Belgian fruit beer, 8% uh, ABV. Um, I've had that, I've had it once before, this one. Very tasty from memory. I had it for a little while. Certainly not reviewed it before. Um, so yeah, interesting to um, put one down on, on tape, as we would have said back in the olden days. Um, you may have seen this one, the uh, one, the blue one, the Delirium Trab is the one that's in most of the supermarkets, and that's delicious. That's slightly stronger, that's 8.5. Um, like I said, this is just uh, just 8%. Uh, crack it open. Get rid of a bit of foil there. Get it into a glass. Now this one is it's a strange one. It's um, famously made with um, concentrate and flavourings. So I suppose you've got that debate as to whether or not it is actually a beer or not. Um, I think it's. I'd like to. Sell, I think I still class it as a as a fruit beer. They have nice bottles as well. They've got a little bit of. Uh, on the glass it looks a little bit like an old-fashioned um, pottery um, bottle which is a really lovely effect as well and the, the foil top just adds a little bit to the uh, premium nature of this so this I got from um, House of Ales I paid 375 I think for this one yeah 375 for this one so uh, not bad price for this beer um, so that has poured a dark red with a one finger pink head. Let's get it around shall we? It's cherry. So you got a fruity cherry, a little bit of spiciness. It's almost got like a touch of um, sour on the aroma, a bit like um, fizzy sweet would have if you smell fizzy sweet you'd still get that sense you get the, the fruitiness from the sweet itself but you'd also get that aroma sense of there's something a little bit sour going on in there it's nice right taste cheers everybody Almost got the flavour, and I don't know if it's because it's, it is the uh, artificial flavourings, but it almost tastes like um, a cough medicine. If, if you if you had a, a cherry cough medicine, it wouldn't taste of particularly a natural cherry. It'd be sweet, but to enable you to get it down, and it's quite. This is quite warming as well, so I, as I'd expect, like a, um, a cough medicine to be to be there, just a little bit warming, just to kind of help it go down and help you get over what it is you've got. But yeah, on the flavours, follows the nose really. It's fruity, it's cherry, the spiciness in there. It's sweet, but it's not too sweet. It's it's a really nice level of sweetness. And even though I don't think technically this is a sour, it is just a strong beer. It does on, on the flavour as well just have that really subtle hint. And a little bit of tartness, I suppose, not sourness, a little bit of tartness to it. So it's probably just a little bit of tartness coming from the cherries. Like I say, it's, it's warming, you're not tasting, there's not the flavour of alcohol per se, just warming down the back of your throat and, and not overly warming as well you wouldn't know you were drinking uh, an eight percent beer not even though because the warmth is a very subtle warmth it's smooth it's refreshing but you can't get out you can't quite get over the fact that the flavor is artificial
because it does taste it. I'm sure they've got natural, well, they've been, they both have had a really, really properly read the label. Um, I'm sure it's got real cherries in it as well. But it's just a strong Belgian beer. Um, with those uh, cherry flavours. And I wouldn't be surprised if it's got a bit of sweetener in it as well. Because it's almost got that. Um, yeah, I remember years and years ago when sweetness first came out, and there was a, a hint of bitterness to them. And it reminds me of that a little bit. But when all said and done, it is a very nice beer. It's a very nice beer indeed. Um, score wise, uh, I'm going to score that an 8 out of 10. That's 8 out of 10 from Andy's Beer Reviews. Whatever beers you're drinking, enjoy them. See you later.